today we are going to talk about the difference between a singular noun and a plural noun. But before we do that, we probably should review what a noun is. Remember that a noun is a word that names a person, a place, or a thing. So it's a word that names a person, a place, or a thing. If it is a singular noun, singular noun, that means there's only one of that thing. But if it's plural, then that means there's more than one. Let me explain a little more. If you look at my screen, I have the noun bird, bird. And then right beside it, I should say that that means one, one bird. But if there's more than one bird, you're going to need the plural and you're going to need the word birds, birds. Now, all you did was change the word bird to birds by adding an S to show that there's more than one of whatever noun you're talking about. You can add an S for regular nouns. And we'll talk more about that later. So let me give you another example. This next word is the word book, book. Well, if I have one book, I would write the word book just like you see right here. But if I had more than one book, I would need to add that S. So now I have books, books. Let's look at our next word. It's the word cat, cat. Now the word cat means there's only one. But if you have more than one cat, you'll need to add the S to make the plural cats, cats. So one cat is singular, more than one cats is plural. Same thing with dog, dog, the singular, there's only one single dog, and, but if there's more than one, you'll need the plural, you'll need to add the S to make dogs. The plural simply means there's more than one. Could be two, it could be 500, but it's just more than one. All right, one more example, and that is pen, like a pen that you write with. Now, if you only have one pen, you'll need the singular version, pen. But if you have more than one pen, you'll need to add that S and make the plural version pens, pens. Now, I'm gonna give you a job to do. You are going to be taking the singular of a word and changing it to the plural. So for the first one, I'm going to do it for you. This is a picture of a boy. There's only one, that's the singular. There's one single boy. But if you look at this picture, there are many boys, boys. So you're going to add the S and that's what your job is going to be, is going to be making the word boy, but adding that S to make boys. All right, you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna change girl into girls, clock into clocks, flag into flags, pig into pigs, bike into bikes, toy into toys, car into cars, and book into books. Remember, if there's only one, that's a sing that's the singular. There's one single book. But if there's more than one, two or more, then it's going to need to be books with an S on the end. All right. I think you're ready to try this assignment. It's pretty easy to do. Like I said, changing from singular to plural in regular nouns just means you're adding the S to the end.